when did it sink in or has it sunk in yet that you're going to Paris? I think each day it sinks in a little bit more, but the way that I found out that I was going to Paris, it's been a long waiting point, super long. I, I had my qualification meet in February and just didn't know until the very end of June. I had finished competing at European Championships and I went to Latvia to meet my federation, do some media work for them. And I was going on a walk with my mom and I got a phone call from a random number, picked it up and they said, hello, congratulations, you're an Olympian. And that moment was surreal, but after I hung up, me and my mom just started crying immediately. And like, that was the first half that sunk in where it was just the relief of months waiting and obviously years of training and to be able to do it in the country, learn that I competed or that I qualified in the country that I'm representing with my mom. It just, it meant so much to me. So that was the big relief. And then each day it keeps sinking in a little more and more. That's so cool that you were there mm -hmm. during the, the, the perfect time. Yeah, um, yeah. Has this been a lifelong dream? Has this always been a goal for you? So when I was younger, I was a gymnast. I was a gymnast until I was 15. I broke my back, thought I was done with sports and then started diving sophomore year of high school so you know when you're a little girl and you're in a sport that's an Olympic sport obviously it's everyone's dream to go to the Olympics right but I've always been a little realistic I always thought no that can't be me I'm I would never be good enough and especially when I started diving I started so late I mean I started two years before I went to college it's a miracle that I got to go to college for diving I did my undergraduate at Northwestern and dove there and when I got the opportunity to compete internationally, because I've had my citizenship for Latvia since I was younger. Um, so when I got that opportunity, again, Olympics was, I never thought was attainable. I thought I was just, you know, going and having some fun, getting experiences. And I was actually going to be done diving at World Championships in 2023. And Dave had come up to me and he said, you're not done yet. And so that was kind of the moment where that little flame in the back of my mind was reignited and he, he said to me, we're gonna work and we're gonna get you to the Olympics. And part of me didn't believe it at all, but I'm, I'm so glad that he believed it. And so it's always been there, but I think it became really real and a really, really significant dream of mine about a year ago. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, has he given you any pointers on, on like what this experience is gonna be, what you need to be ready for, for everything but diving? Yeah, I think, David is an amazing coach to have in this scenario from his experience and something that he started working on with me and a few other of his athletes has been the mental training. Um, we really, we've been doing small mental training here and there the past year, but over the past couple months, we've been reading books, we've been meeting, we've been going over visualization, we've set up a routine for me and that's something I've never done before. I've always approached competitions with oh I'm gonna have fun you know and so having a coach that's had these experiences and has really put emphasis on the mental aspect has completely changed my my ability to succeed awesome. mm -hmm. what is success in Paris for you? success in Paris for me is finishing the competition knowing I did my best it doesn't mean my best dives ever it means in the situation i put in everything i could and that was the best i could do you know whether i get first place or last place results to me they're not as important because it's such an amazing experience i'm up against the best of the best if i can keep my head on straight and do what i know how to do that is success to me that's david talking right there yeah <laughs> yeah I don't think so. It's it's amazing, you know. Throughout my time at Northwestern, I'm so grateful for my teammates and my coaches there. But for the most part, I was the only one going to these inter international meets, and for most of them, I didn't even have a coach. I would just go alone to these international meets and see what happened. Um, now having teammates that I get to watch grow and that I get to go to these meets with and just feel overwhelming support and excitement for them. I mean, I'm just as excited for all my teammates that that I am for myself. When I found out I was in Europe when I was watching the Olympic trials and when I was on that live stream watching Greg and Tyler qualify their spot, I, I started crying, you know, like it's just been such an amazing experience to get to grow with these athletes and get to have so much knowledge and experience around me. I think it's really shaped me into the diver that I am.